In this video, I have two drones, the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the new DJI Mini 4K, 299, 959. And what we're gonna do in this video is find about uh, the runtime. This one claims 31 minutes and this one claims 34 minutes. So we're gonna fly them together, exact same conditions, and we're gonna see which one stays in the air longer. And here is the test. Basically, we hover both drones at a fixed height and with minimal wind because it is sh shielded uh, from the open air. And we've done this before on a Mini 3 Pro and a Mini 4 Pro and the results are quite consistent. So it's a very repeatable test. So here we go, we are flying the drones in the exact same conditions. It is a hover with light winds in a courtyard so in, in about an equal height and they say 34 minutes and 31 minutes and you know very light wind conditions and in DJI's documentation they say or in hidden documentation they say that hey you can only achieve those if you uh, are flying at 30 miles an hour exactly with zero wind. So very difficult conditions. So these are more real world. We'll see what happens. And we're going to try to bypass the forced landing or forced return to home that it has um, until the very end, you know, until there's only like 10% battery left. Okay, we'll speed it up a little bit to respect your time. And something to note about these Run times, 34 minutes for the Mini 4 Pro is quite outrageous because they actually don't let you fly that long to drain the battery. You know, they save, they force a landing with 10% left. But even before that, they really uh, force a return to home and, and they really uh, make it land as well. Um, and you, if you don't want to override it. All right, a little update. We're at the halfway point. This is the DJI Mini 2 controller. If you click on that battery icon right there, it tells you, first of all, how much battery is left. 51% and the other one is 51% as well. Uh, it tells you that 1357 until the battery is depleted and this one is 1504. Uh, so a little bit strange because they're showing exactly the same level of battery uh, but this thing the mini 2 or the mini 4k is saying it should land sooner but uh, so we'll see well, notes about the battery these batteries are intelligent batteries so after you don't use it for a day it's gonna discharge to 96 percent and if you don't use it for five days it's gonna discharge to 60 percent and that's done to preserve the battery. So we had to make sure both were at 100% charge. Now, another thing to note is the Mini 4 Pro has the advantage of having a plus battery, a much bigger battery, uh, which claims, I believe, 45 minutes. So that one uh, is uh, good to have because uh, this is far off its 34 minute claims. The Mini 4X does not have a bigger battery option, but you can buy a bunch of batteries for it. And there you have it. The Mini 4 Pro is forcing a landing and you can kind of resist this, but if you hold the stick, but it's not realistic. So right there, 2304 is where we're gonna record the runtime. And with a claim of 34 minutes, that's only 68% of claim or 68% true when doing a hover. So we speed it up and the Mini 4X or even the Mini 2 is doing a lot better, 24 minutes and going. Uh, and we are not sure why they are so far off claims. So this is kind of what we want to expose. On this video, we do want some truth in advertising uh, and that because that allows the user to just have a more realistic expectation uh, and maybe buy, buy an extender but 
another battery if needed. So right here we are getting close. The Mini 4X does a lot of beeping and flashing red lights as it gets close to force to land. And we can tell you that it's doing a lot better, uh, not only apples to apples, but also against the, against claims. And right there, 2508 against a claim of 31 minutes is 81% true when doing a hover. And the Mini 4 Pro, the $1,000 drone, is only 68% of claims. So that's pretty shocking. We are unsure why they have to exaggerate the claims on the Mini 4 Pro. Maybe because it's so expensive and they feel compelled to claim it has more runtime when it really doesn't in the exact same conditions. Mind you, if it was flying at 13 miles an hour exactly with zero wind, the run times will be better, but it, uh, it really shows the difference between the Mini 4K claims and the Mini 4 Pro.